Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the EISL, powered by Coca-Cola, with Hero as our associate sponsor, Norwin Gaming as our esports partner, and PlayStation as our platform partner, and of course, Terra Virtua as our digital collectibles partner. Now, of course, joining me today is the one and only Azim. So, Azim, let's get it started. Tell me, how are you? Oh, very good. Really looking uh, forward to an amazing top of the table clash uh, to get us going today. Uh, but quickly, let's uh, get you through the tournament format. If you're just joining in, this is of course the fag end of the league stages uh, with uh, the top four to be decided. Uh, three games to a match, two 1v1s and one co-op. The top four teams play out the finals on the 19th and the 20th of March. And of course, on the 20th of March, we'll also decide which of the two winning team members is going to represent India at FGS 2022. Exactly, and we're so close, Azim, to the brunt end of this tournament. As you said, today we're going to see a top-of-the-table matchup as both of the teams look to really establish their spot. Not necessarily in the top four, maybe, but rather in a better seeding in that top two mark. So, I think for Chennai and FC especially, it's going to be a true test because SC is Bengal, they are on an absolute tear. Yeah, and of course, are uh, playing for the big bucks. Uh, both of these teams, I think they've um, just about secured passage into the top four, and of course, will be eligible for those giant prizes. Of course, a total prize pool of 78 lakh rupees. First place will get 15 lakhs, and also the MVP, of which we're watching a couple of contenders today, uh, get a nice chunk of change, uh, four lakh rupees plus that personalized NFT by Taravacho. Exactly, besides the chunk of change, uh, really nice memento, I would say, to remember yourself permanently and a memento which has intrinsic value attached. It could not be better, but I think coming back to the matchup itself, I'm really excited to see because as you can see on the leaderboard, Chennai and FC and SCS Bengal, they are on the top. Now granted, Mumbai City FC does have a couple of games in the back, so for both of these teams, getting this win over each other is that much more important because Chennai win today, Azim. They could take number one spot. Yeah, and I think uh, for me that uh, magic number has been 35 points to get into the top four. So I think if Chennai and FC can just get that one point or get all three, uh, that's uh, I think that the one and two pretty much uh, taken care of over there. And uh, going to be interesting to see. It's not going to be Saranch up against uh, Ankit Gupta. We would have loved to watch that blockbuster yeah. battle. But it is Naveen against Ankit and uh, Saranch going up against Shayantan. Uh, again, these two teams so, so, so well matched the absolute two uh, best teams, although Mumbai City FC would have a little something to say about that. But yeah. I think the most consistent teams uh, so far and uh, uh, you could say SC is Bengal not in their best form of late and uh, Chennai and FC as well really had to grind to get uh, that win against uh, Bengaluru FC yesterday. So, yeah, just having a look at those stats, uh, the two top uh, goal scoring teams in the, in the EISL. Uh, pretty much identical with their stats, just that one difference of uh, two points in there. And if we look at the previous matchup uh, to see what happened uh, when they met, uh, it is actually, uh, yeah, we didn't get to see Saranch and Ankit playing uh, each other at all that time as well. And it was very, very close, was a draw, and I expected to be as close this time as well. Yeah, I'm sure Naveen uh, going and being like, hey, last time it was a draw, I want that win this time, let me take up Ankit and we'll have to see if we can actually translate because I, I will say overall throughout this uh, EISL, Ankit Gupta has looked uh, straight up the top contender for that MVP prize overall. But as you said, recently for SCS Bengal, they themselves have run into something that is uncharacteristic for them. A couple of draws here and there and a flurry of results that haven't necessarily gone their way. So today, they get to make a statement once again, bring back a huge chunk of momentum by taking down the titan that is Chennai NFC. But we'll have to see if they can actually get it done. Yeah, Ankit Gupta, I think he's gone by his admission as well. He's gone just a little bit off the boil in recent weeks. He's uh... He said ever since he started taking the tournament really seriously, you know, when SC's Bengal really got into that uh, top four battle and it became quite clear that they're here to stay till uh, the playoffs. Uh, he started to get just that little bit more stress playing with, I could say, maybe a little bit more responsibility uh, by not taking as many chances, not uh, being uh, the maverick that we've got grown used to seeing. But we, we have kicked off. It is going to be... An absolute classic. So uh, get your get your snacks, get your drinks all together, and uh, here we go. Yeah, and we see Ankit. He's got himself a fresh cut, looking suave as hell. So I'm sure he'll want that in his game as well, because as you mentioned, he's at his very best when he's playing on his instinct. He's at his very best when he's relying on his basic understanding of the game without the pressure. So that pressure, we'll have to see if it disappears today or if Naveen is able to show up with his high octane gameplay and 
pile it on that much more. Yeah, well, actually, fun fact: ever since uh, Ankit Gupta has got that uh, funky haircut of his, he actually has not won a game. Uh, <laughs> so we saw that uh, we did uh, confirm that him and V Sharma both went to the same barber and immediately uh, proceeded to uh, not win their matches. Uh, both uh, drew immediately after, but uh, V Sharma got his uh, his uh, campaign back on the road yesterday with a, a really good win, uh, beating uh, I believe it was. Uh, Gokmanyu, I think. Actually, I can't quite remember, but it was a 4-1 win. And uh, anyway, it is right now uh, Chennai and FC uh, getting forward. No real pointers so far. It's been a pretty scrappy KG first opening 8-9 minutes and uh, no major chances created. I think both uh, sets of teams playing it very cautious. You don't want to lose this match, you know, in the off chance that somehow results go against you later on and somehow you find yourself dumped out of that uh, top yeah. four. So, there will be an element of caution. Uh, for both teams, but now we see Ankit getting in behind. We've seen him uh, been one of those players to use uh, crosses quite a lot, getting those headers in from CR7. But in recent weeks, we've seen players start to nullify his uh, style of play a little bit, and he's going to have to change it up soon. Yeah, exactly. Players are starting to get accustomed to Ankit's uh, quite different style of play, and inherently, I think he's also feeling the pressure because of the fact that he's not able to pull off those results like he used to. But right now. Focus on this match as both of these players are very, very well matched. 1-1 in the last time we saw them around and that's where that first goal, that initial boost the momentum is going to make a whole lot of difference to both of these players. Yeah, I don't expect there's going to be particularly high scoring matches uh, today because as I said, it is very tight between these two teams. But Ankit trying to get away there uh, with Eusebio. Again, Naveen's defence very, very sorted. He's playing a relatively high line so not... Uh, allowing Ankit to get his game going. But Ankit, of course, uh, he's savvy enough to know that he just needs to get a few long balls in behind that defence. Uh, and uh, he'll surely be sta starting to create more chances. But uh, again, very KG midfield battle so far. 20 minutes elapsed. Nothing even close to resembling a shot on goal. I don't think uh, we've, we've seen any touches inside the box either. This is the first one. First one inside the box from Ankit Gupta. Has the opportunity oh. to find R9. Oh. It falls to Eusebio. Is he onside? Yep. Does appear to be so and a bit of fortune for Ankit but he has got that lead. Yeah, well, fortune, famous the brave and at this point, uh, Ankit Gupta certainly being brave with that pass into the box. I thought that was going to get intercepted for sure but managed to go Ronaldo to Ronaldo and a little lucky with the deflection, definitely. But a goal picked up and he's going to thank his stars because at this point, like we talked about, that initial boost is going to be huge. Now, Naveen feeling that pressure because back to that leaderboard conversation, Chennai and FC, they need a point off of this at least to get to that special 35 uh, point mark where they're feeling very safe about their top four chances irrespective of what happens in the next few matches. So, starting off here with a win for Chennai and FC could be key, but at least if Naveen is able to equalize, get a draw, it would help them that much more. Yeah, and I could see uh, from uh, some rudimentary lip reading that I think Shantan just telling his teammate now, keep the ball, let him come and press you and then play that ball in behind. I think that will probably be uh, the approach. And uh, early tactical changes by <clears throat> by Naveen. Let's see if he's uh, uh, going to change the way he's approaching this game. Maybe uh, drop his defensive line a little bit uh, further back. It does look like the defence is playing just that little bit deeper now. So, maybe that was the change that he was trying to make. Didn't want to leave that much space in behind for Ankit to exploit. And uh, now, keeping that ball, you can see Ankit also playing a pretty high line. Not really allowing uh, Naveen much space in that midfield to, to try and build from. He's being forced uh, to go into those wide channels and now has the opportunity. Gets Pele in there. Has CR7 in the box if he chooses to cross. Decides not to go for it this time. Now, R9 and Hullet has CR7 again waiting in that box. But... Electing not to use him because he is surrounded by a defender. So, Ankit doing a very, very good job defensively right now. Keeping it compact, keeping it uh, all very sorted and solid. And uh, But we do know, Naveen, it just takes one good skill move to break through even the best of defences. And, uh, well, may happen later on, but not immediately. Most definitely. Possession-wise, though. A lot of the ball controlled by Chennai and FC. Ankit mostly playing on the counter, but he's getting his taste off it right now. He does have a considerable bit of the ball and he's going to look to deny it from Naveen. Look to pile the pressure on and make Naveen just slightly desperate. I'll be, I will say just uh, it's a little early into the match to try and make that happen. 
and it will be hard to especially get a seasoned player like Naveen feeling that pressure. But right now, I think it all comes down to the chances they're able to create and you can see trying to deny those chances and deny that possession that Naveen loves so much. Ankit playing very slow with the ball and that's not really his style so far so it's quite interesting to see him change it up. Yeah, and, and I think it stems from that conversation that <clears throat> that Shantan was having with him as well. That, you know, just slow it down, make him come to you and then yeah. that's where the chances and the gaps are going to appear from. And uh, Naveen really hasn't had that much in terms of opportunity. I don't think he's had any shot of note. Uh, but this time, getting forward with Hakimi, again, a poor choice of pass over there. But the high press paying off now with Mbappe at the edge of the area, trying to get in. But again, there's so many defenders back there. It's going to take something special and there, that little bit of skill, but I think uh, Ankit read that pass may have been better off by trying to just go a little bit closer to that byline and trying to get that little cutback or square pass. Wins the ball back again, uh, Naveen. Let's see if he can create something now. Certainly has the opportunity here, going to run down the wing and across is not what we expect from Naveen, but maybe switching it up will be what gets him back on the board. But no. Like we were talking about, actually instead sets up a 1-2, runs down the wing with Hakimi, had the option to pull it back but he's playing it safe so far but you have to wonder how safe can you play without giving up the chances, how many shots that he did not take are shots that he actually ended up missing. Oh, oh. this is the opportunity here, again uh, had the opportunity, the channel opened up for him but I think he'd already uh, queued up that animation, could have gone for a long range shot, this time brilliant bridge with Ronaldo, again does not pull that trigger and is Naveen going to be regretting these missed opportunities, he had two opportunities to take that shot on, decided to you know try to work a closer uh, shot, a higher percentage shot and uh, just uh, was snuffed out in the end. Oh, but it's time Ankit's got his shot in another! Oh, oh no, that's the replay. Uh, actually, yeah. <laughs> I lost my mind for a second there because I was like, wait, not again? How a deflection again? But, uh, thankfully, just the replay. But yeah, again, bringing back the conversation to what you mentioned, you can see for Ankit, this has really been about evolving himself as a player. And it's important because when we came into EISL, we had a set standard of which players to expect a lot from. We're going to see one of those in action today in Saranj. And we had a lot of players like Ankit, like Naveen, really step up to the plate and surprise us with their brilliance from the very start. Now these players, the way they moved on to the EISL, they've evolved a little bit, but they've also lost a bit of their initial brilliance. And I want to see them finding the right strike, the right balance between that, where they still have that instinct, but they're also able to find a bit of structure to their gameplay, something that they their teammates like Sharanj can provide to Naveen and uh, uh, Shayantan can provide to Ankit overall. But right now, a huge chance for... It seems like Naveen set up. Uh, it, is it just me or for it? Does it feel like he is hesitating for a second, maybe even overthinking here, Naveen? Yeah, absolutely. I think he is definitely uh, trying to play, uh, just searching for that almost that 100% pass and 100% shot every time, which of course at this level, uh, it's not uh, not entirely practical to search for that, particularly at this late stage of the tournament. Now again with Ronaldo trying that trick, uh, but of course uh, it seemed a little bit uh, uncontrolled, didn't quite uh, seem like he was uh, entirely sure what he was doing there, just trying to spam the trick and uh, get away with it. But this time, uh, it is Ankit coming forward, has the opportunity, this time finds Eusebio in. And these are the situations where Ankit generally has been so good just playing on instinct, just relying on that uh, just raw, almost animalistic FIFA instinct that he has to find the right move, to, to make the right pass and uh, keeping it simple for now, just uh, ensuring that he keeps the ball and now going up the gears but runs into trouble in the shape of Cancelo and now Naveen looking to counter but uh, again, uh, it does look like it's a very set and settled defence for Ankit and it's going to take something special from Naveen to break it down. Oh, most definitely. And that's something special that needs to come real quick if he even has a dream about getting the victory here in this matchup. Because right now, Ankit is continuously able to deny him those opportunities. Well, again, it feels like Naveen has a ton of the ball. There are no clear-cut opportunities created. There are no pressure moments where uh, Ankit's keeper, Ankit's defense has to step up. So. We really need to find a way. Naveen is able to find something and make it happen. But instead, again, the counter opportunity almost leads to something for Ankit. And it is not Naveen creating those chances. It's 
Got the ball once yeah. again. Let's see if he can make it happen. Yeah, I think, I mean, in, in these situations, at least uh, for me, when I've been in the situation where everything I'm trying is just not working out, I think uh, the one thing that's, uh, that's really helped me is to just actively do the, like, force myself to do the thing that I would not do. Because after a while, uh, you know, the players tend to start predicting what you're doing over the course of 90 minutes. But this time, is that a penalty? Nope. Mbappe goes down into the box, but it is a clean tackle. And now, these are the situations that Ankit oh. really loves. Gets that first touch. Will he manage to get the chip? No, Donnarumma off his line very, very quickly. But I think Naveen starts to now, needs to start getting a little bit more unpredictable uh, with uh, with how he's approaching this game. Let's see if he can do that. Now, getting forward, Mbappe is a big chance because uh, Cancelo had committed just slightly too much with the short fake and the short cancel again. He's uh, being forced to go out of the box every time and Ankit is very happy for him to have the ball right there because uh, yeah. he's just giving it straight back to him. Exactly, and the way the possession ends up being set up is that it usually means there's a high line, the defenders are spread out and Ankit loves him these opportunities on the counter. A quick cross slammed into the box, but a key interception will still keep the hopes and dreams alive for Naveen so far in this matchup. Now again, Controlling the possession, controlling the ball, but I think it's time he started taking a bit more of those riskier chances. Started paying into the surprise factor a little bit more because everything he's doing by the book, yes, it is by the book, but it's something that is being read brilliantly by Ankit. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, now with Pele, it needs to do something mm. different. Maybe, you know, just go for a long range shot if it opens up. Uh, or something like that. I mean, just try something. And this time, with the aggressive press, he's won that ball back with Pele. Went for the chop back. I thought he might attempt the shot over there, but I think the angle was just a little too acute. <clears throat> now with CR7 at the edge of the box, again, turning into trouble. I think it's very easy for Ankit to predict right now. And now on the counter-attack, between three defenders, he's still managing to get uh, R9 in there. Big opportunity with Kante. And now Mbappe, an inadvertent nutmeg over there. And Naveen will win that ball. Nope, it's going to come back to SC's Bengal. Again, SCS Bengal able to get it back. It's just 10 minutes left on the clock and surely Naveen's tension is just building up. The blood pressure most likely hitting the charts, but chances not being created again and again. These midfield interceptions coming clutch for the side of Ankit, but this time it's actually Hakimi who finds the interception. Naveen with the ball again. And like you said, Azim, he's just got to go for something different. Had an opportunity for the outside ones, but this time... Instead, electing to play the short passes, look for someone in the box. They now find it, but once again, he's created one. Oh. oh. Yeah, again, I think it, the openings are always coming up for uh, Naveen, but he's just not being able to take them. I think just queuing up too many things for the players to do, and by the time the animation sort of executes itself, the chance is gone. Uh, so, needs to just be a little bit uh, more composed in that final third. I think right now he's really trying to just spam things and hope it works out. Uh, whereas it needs to be just that little bit more controlled. And now this is much better getting the fullbacks forward. Now with Hakimi, has the opportunity to look for that cross again. Goes out, Ankit Gupta very happy to allow him to just pass at the edge of the area. But now with Pele, needs to make this count again. So just complicating that a little bit too much. and. Uh, yeah. There you go, Ankit's won it again and it is a 1-0 and uh, Naveen tried but uh, I don't think it's been his best day of the office, not enough quality in that final third and Ankit got his one chance, he took it and he'll take the win and be on his way. Exactly, right? Like in that final third, it, it did not remind us of the Naveen we've seen throughout the CISL where he, is, he doesn't hesitate. He goes for his chances. He's very quick with his uh, skill moves, for example, to create the space. But today, it was a little bit of hesitation, a little bit of overthinking. And that little edge is all you need when you've got such great players facing off against each other. A 1-0 win is all it was, but a win is what really matters to Ankit Gupta and SCE's Bengal right here. Starting off yeah. this series with the bang and taking off some pressure from Ben, who in his previous matchup did lose to Saranj. Yeah, of course, uh, Saranj now, uh, well, we did speak to Saranj yesterday and he said that, uh, well, he's going to get better as the tournament goes deep. He says that's always been the case with him where so far he says he's had an average tournament and he's going to be now trying to move up the gears and uh, really start showing us what he's made of. And uh, well, with now his teammate. Uh, having been uh, defied and uh, denied by Ankit Gupta for uh, for 90 minutes, really frustrated 
Uh, I think even the highlights team uh, would have been clutching at straws to find highlights yeah. to put into that uh, game because just uh, the quality in the final third just was not quite there uh, from both players. And there you look at it, I think the most glaring stat over there is zero shots from Chennai and FC despite there being opportunities to take those shots. And uh, we've seen this from the likes of Bindra Tej recently, we've seen it from the likes of Afnan recently. That you know, when you cannot get that uh, that clean opportunity, maybe you need to do something different. Maybe you need to take a shot from long range, just force the opposition to think in a different manner. But uh, unfortunately, did not happen for uh, Naveen today. But uh, still, there is the opportunity for Chennai and FC to uh, strike right back with uh, Saranj going up against Shantan in uh, in game two. And I do believe we're going to have an interview at uh, coming up in just a little bit. So we will head over to that. Once we're ready, and I do believe it is the man, Ankit Gupta. So, Ankit, the haircut curse finally has been done, and you've got your win. So, how does it feel? Yes, I mean, this win actually I didn't deserve it, but okay, Naveen played a lot of good. He played well, 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 but at the end, I won, so I can say that unlucky for Naveen. But we have seen this a lot of times where you don't have necessarily possession control but your decision making when you go to the counter you have to be a little bit a little bit instant job decision making What do you think that that gives you an edge to find these goals because we haven't seen one shot from Naveen Yes, I mean that the player is the ball is to get a quick counter attack but Naveen defended well and I didn't have much position so I didn't get so many opportunities but but हम लोग we were really looking forward कि एक दिन हमको अंकित वर्सेस सरांज देखने मिले on on the EISL तो ये is this planned कि तुम लोग एक दूसरे से नहीं खेल रहे हो या ऐसे ही हो गया? नहीं वो ऐसे randomly हो गया but hopefully top four के fixtures में खेल ले हम एक दूसरे का against we look forward to that anyway congrats on your win and all the best to Shantan for the thank you so much thank you It'll be quite an interesting showdown if it does end up happening in the top four. You know, all of the regular group stage action building into these Titans playing against each other. But right now, I guess our focus towards the second match of this series itself. We're going to be seeing Sharansh going up against Shayantan. Yeah, that's uh, going to be quite uh, an interesting battle now, of course, with the pressure on Saranch and he's no stranger to it. He's, uh, he's faced the biggest pressures possible available uh, to any FIFA player and uh, we can have a look at the highlights between these guys uh, in the previous matchup as well. It was a pretty good match the last time out. Uh, we did see that uh, Saranch managed to get that early lead over there uh, with uh, Ronaldo and... Uh, Oh, the good old days when we had the Ronaldo with the the nice uh, well World Cup 22 yeah. has uh, World Cup 2002 has time. Yeah, and I a point that has really stuck with me. A point that you mentioned, Azim, was that Saranj he he's a seasoned professional. He's been in these uh, high pressure tournaments before. He's been in these moments where in the final edges he needs to step up really. Uh, you know, as you said, turn up the gears and make his mark, put the pedal to the metal. And it does feel like it's something that he's gotten very accustomed to because we have seen somewhat of, at least to his standards, an average tournament so far. Now I wonder if he's able to get his team back by a demolishing matchup and take that momentum into the co-op by taking down Shayantan right here because that's easier said than done. Shayantan himself has gotten so much better involved throughout the ESL. Yeah, in fact, I mean, he's really been the guy who's been uh, carrying the team uh, for SC's wing all over the last few weeks. I think it's been a while, maybe three or four games since Ankit has uh, managed to get uh, that uh, that W next to his name. Mm -hmm. And again, we saw this great counter-attack from uh, Saranchi. He actually dominated this game, but uh, did deserve to, uh, to win it in the end. And of course, uh, at the end of it, we did see that this game was... Uh, <laughs> decided on uh, on the final game to give uh, to sort of uh, share the spoils and towards the end it was Saranj capitalizing on a loss of possession and smashing it into the top corner and if you give him this kind of a chance he's never going to hesitate to pull that trigger always seems to make that <clears throat> that right decision in the final third got a little bit really had to work hard yesterday for his points but uh, yeah eventually uh, this is what it all boils down to this is a uh, these are the big games. These are the top two facing off. I'm really looking forward to uh, this game because they're so closely matched, even in their uh, FIFA skill levels yeah. goals. 
Absolutely, and I think that much more on the line here for Saranj. He got the win last time around. He needs the win this time around for them to be able to go into the co-op with everything on the line. But for Shantan himself, I think even if he's able to get a draw, they will be happy knowing that in their previous matchup, it was SCS Bengal who took the win in the co-op. Now, having said all of that, as you said, stats-wise, these guys are really, really close. So I think previous matchup, win or loss, it could go either way in this matchup. Yeah, and of course, there is going to be the pressure on uh, on Saranj to get the job done. Last time out, it was a draw between uh, Naveen and uh, mm -hmm. uh, between Naveen and uh, and Ankit. But uh, this time, it's uh, well, it's going to be uh, a little bit more pressure, and it does look like uh, we are ready, Shantan, in his uh, traditional bent over, fully intent uh, FIFA game pose, as uh, we are now. Just about nearing kickoff, and very, very, very excited for this one. You can see the nerves are on display, even though it's not such a huge consequence match for both teams. I mean, even if you do lose, you have uh, really just need to get one win out of your remaining couple of uh, two or three games, and uh, you can 100% guarantee your your spot at that top four. But of course, you're right. The seeding and the matchups uh, will make uh, quite a big difference. Although I would say that the top four teams. Uh, Whoever they are, I think they're going to be so, so, so well matched. Uh, it's going to be an absolute cracker of a playoff session. Oh, absolutely, Azim. I can't wait for that. But right now, into this matchup between Saranj and Shayantan. And uh, I'm expecting a similar story where Saranj does control most of the ball the way he did the last time they played around. But again, it does come down to that clinical factor in the final third. And from the side of Shantan especially, unlike Ankit, we've seen him, he is a lot more of a textbook player. He likes to play things slow, likes to create those clear-cut chances. So in that regard, I think very similar play styles from both of the players we're getting to witness on the field right now. And it's going to come down to that extra f X factor that they can bring. Talking about X factor though, is that Cruyff I see on the left wing has been a while. Since we got to yeah. see that. I think Saranj is one of those players who sort of uh, persisted with him. Or maybe, maybe there's an icon upgrade that we are not uh, uh, quite aware of. Maybe that's something that's uh, come across in one of the new updates. But uh, I think there might be offside. Doesn't matter anyway because it's uh, well intercepted. But you can see the intent from Saranj very early on. He's got into the box a couple of times. He's making uh, Chandan a little bit uncomfortable. Again, now getting forward with Hakimi. Trying to uh, make uh, Shantan just commit to one way so that he can get that free passage into the box. Now, with uh, Ronaldo, would have been tempted. I know a lot of players would be tempted to uh, take those long-range shots. But I, I do wonder sometimes, maybe, is it a matter of just principle that a few players just don't take these shots saying, you know what, it's too easy uh, okay. if I just do that. But this is not easy at all. Oh. This is a brilliant mover again. Last is defending uh, from uh, Shantan over there. He'll be looking to play on that counter-attack. We have seen some absolutely magical finishing from Chandan as well. We've seen some devastating chips inside the box. And uh, it's uh, it's been a very, very good few weeks for the man from Kolkata. Of course, an SC is Bengal fan himself. So, probably one of the guys who's proudest to be representing uh, his club in the EISL because it matters to him so much on a, on a personal level as well. But now, getting into the box, has the opportunity, could have taken the shot on the weaker foot, but uh, with the shot fake, the chance was always going to disappear. Yeah, that extra second of hesitation, that extra second of thought, it removes the opportunity from the players. Now, I think their argument will be, well, even if I had taken it, it's unlikely it went in. But without the opportunity itself, I guess we'll never know. Once again, though, going down to the line is Saran trying to, as you said, spread out the defense of but it did not happen. Instead, with the ball back, the counter on, a huge through ball to let Mbappe through. And now Mbappe with a lot of space. But unlike Ankit, as you can see, Shantan is a player who likes to take things slow. He likes to play things by the book. So he's never going to take those, uh, say, 60-40 or 70-30 chances. He wants something more guaranteed. Yeah, definitely. He uh, is the kind of guy who will wait for that opportunity. Of course, a very experienced player. I think one of, the, uh, one of the older guys in the tournament so far. And that, of course, does count for a lot having been in the competitive scene for so long then took a break from it and then uh, finally came back uh, to the EISL and back with the bang we have to say sitting on top of the uh, EISL table right now and hoping uh, to keep uh, to keep his team there because if he manages to even get uh, a draw out of this game uh, he will guarantee SC's Bengal at least one point so yeah. maybe maybe that might be the thought process but uh, well Saranj uh, 
managing to capitalize on a silly giveaway from Sanjan over there. But uh, still, I think uh, no real pointers either way. We've seen Saran start pretty brightly, but it's all fizzled out since then. Yeah, I think uh, from both of these players, we saw some close chances, but so far, no clear-cut opportunities, no insane saves. And it's quite interesting the way the EISL has evolved in that regard, where towards the start, we see all of these insane shots, insane saves from Van der Sar. But now we get to see a lot more calculated gameplay, showing us how much better our players themselves Ooh. have become. But a relay almost getting Saranj into the box, but a key tackle. That could have easily been a penalty, as you yeah, could easily have been a penalty. Could easily manage to uh, somehow nutmeg uh, Varan and find his way through there as well. But, uh, well, for SC's Bengal's sake, it didn't quite work out and they'll be pleased about that. And, uh, you know, Sandan has been in a lot of games like this. In fact, there's been so many games in the recent past where he's gone a goal down and just managed to come back and, and win uh, either 2-1 or 3-2. So, he's not uh, going to be overly perturbed by any of this. In fact, uh, going in level uh, is is pretty good for him. Uh, and he just needs that one chance because he, the moment he gets that chance, you know, it's, uh, it's like he's immediately on red alert and suddenly becomes this clinical assassin. But uh, not being quite clinical over here, giving that ball away for Saranch and... Uh, Again, very, very compact in midfield and defence. You can see a high line repeatedly spamming those offside traps as well. So, not allowing Saranj to play those balls in behind. And uh, there, now we see the gap for uh, Cruyff to get in. This could be an opportunity. Again, I think uh, overcomplicating that just a little bit. Gets into the box and Angolo Kante there. Of course, the team of the Alcante. Uh, Cruyff never stood a chance against him. And... Uh, this is very, very close, very, very tight, very, very nervy and almost a giveaway. But no, it's still SC's big old ball. And now that we're approaching that half-time mark, it's going to be down to Shantan to try and control the ball till then. Use that extra 45-minute, uh, I don't know if it's luck at this point or placebo factor to get you a better chance at that 45 and 90-minute mark that we regularly see. But this is, again, something very regular when... Teams try to control the ball, they end up almost turning off and inadv inadvertently giving it away. And that's exactly what happens with Shantan. So we're going to close this half off without much action. 0-0 zero, zero on the board as both of these players very, very well matched. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, well, I think it's going to be again another challenge for the production team. What are we going to get? Are we going to get <laughs> more than one highlight today? Let's see. Uh, they really must be scratching their heads saying, does a throw-in count as a highlight? <laughs> Uh, but uh, no, there was a couple of early chances for Saranj over here. This one in particular, I think if he had just got the shot off with CR7 rather than going for that pass, it may well have just flown into that uh, top corner. But I think this is a case of two very well-matched players and also two players who have played against each other extensively over the years uh, and particularly over the last few months and re really know each other's game very, very well. And it's quite, quite interesting to note that uh, these guys uh, play each other uh, very very often even in their in their hotels in the bubble i mean if if it were me i would not play against any of my opponents uh, in the eisl i'd just be playing against people online uh, to uh, to not allow anybody to figure out uh, my tactics but i guess it does come down to the simple fact that at the end of the day you can choose to uh, either hide your tactics or really improve on the basis of playing them again and again i think both have their pros and cons and yeah. you can see for the players uh, clearly a pro about just improving individually and we'll have to see if it does end up benefiting them because gameplay wise I do think they've as a collective gotten so much better so much more refined and so much more uh, calculated in their approach right now though yeah. with that calculation uh, Shantan trying to make his move forward but no holes found in Shalansh's defense yeah, nothing really for either player actually to exploit. We saw those couple of early chances for Saranj which he couldn't capitalize on. This time though, it is Shayantan and as I said, the deadly assassin, he needs yeah. just one moment and he has capitalized on it. So go both the Ronaldos and there you go. It is one nil SC's Bengal and they could be closing this out in two games and I don't think any of us would have expected that. Yeah, exactly. Especially given the recent run of form where they've picked up a couple more draws than they're accustomed to. You'd think that, hey, maybe SC East Bengal are due for a loss from Chennai and FC. But they put an emphatic no to that question immediately. And we'll have to see if Saranj can use his wealth of experience to pull something back. At least give Chennai and FC a chance to bring back a point in the co-op by making this a draw. 
Yeah, well, uh, he's going to have to really, really start pressing hard and that, of course, is going to create gaps for Shanzhen yeah. to exploit as well. So, still enough time though, it's just 54 minutes on the clock, so most of the uh, of the second half still yet to go. Looking for that slide rule pass into Mbappe, almost found the ball through to Pele as well, manages to keep it on that uh, right flank. And uh, I have to say, suddenly in the second half, Shanzhen looking very, very dangerous, very, very calculated with how he's approaching it very like with surgical precision he's managing to find all those passes again finding it almost to uh to ronaldo nine over there and now saranch in fact is the player who's sort of having to do this on the counter attack which is not necessarily his style he's the like he's the kind of guy who likes to have complete control he likes to have the defense on the back foot um and i don't think uh Shantan has afforded him that that respect today because uh, he's just kept him in complete control and uh, getting in there with Messi now with Hullet, who could have been a penalty again, but no, it's a clean tackle. I do feel that maybe at some point we will need to see uh, players like, uh, for instance, uh, Saran's players like V. Sharma players, uh, like these guys who have a very fixed sense of how they play. I think we may need to see them uh, to start trying to change it up, and uh, because these kind of uh, moves have become very predictable now, the little. Uh, run down the the sideline and looking for that cutback uh, simple pass. We don't see as many goals uh, over there because the players have got wise to it. There was a flurry of that happening for about two or three weeks, but I think with all the practice, all these guys have sort of figured out how to defend uh, those uh, those more basic kind of meta plays, if you will. And uh, again, lovely close control here from Shantan, looking for that ball in almost could have played it earlier, but ball's lost and uh, well gained back again. Saranj really, really needs to change something now, Zia. Yeah, exactly. He needs to find some sort of move where he's able to uh, really surprise the heck out of Shantan so far because it really does feel like uh, Shantan himself, he's in a very, very comfortable position. He's not been forced to leave his bubble whatsoever and continuously he's got himself chance after chance, ball after ball in that driver's seat and at this point, it's a glaring issue that was not, not just there for Saranj, but I'd say Naveen too. Because this team, they started off EISL with the bang. They were the team continuously leading the charts till SE's Bengal took it away. And since then, oh. it hasn't been recovered. But ooh, that could have been lights out right there for Saranj and Chennai in FC. Oh, that was worked so well by Ashan that he was kept patient, kept patient, kept moving that ball around. And then, sort of put, uh, like almost in chess, you would call it a fork. Uh, just basically made uh, Saranj choose between defending uh, two two forwards who were making the run and played that ball right through, went for the chip, but I think maybe just a ball roll sitting down the keeper would have been more effective. Now Hullet oh. with the opportunity, again surprise Saranj didn't shoot over there because that was wide open, oh. but with Messi takes that shot, finally a shot from Saranj, uh, but it's easily blocked, it's not going to trouble the keeper at all. And again, you can see uh, Shantan just uh, running down that clock a little bit. Finds the ball to Mbappe as well. This has been an excellent uh, controlled performance uh, from Shantan. Never really looked perturbed or in control. Look at that. Just toying with the midfielders. Getting rid of two with a little... Uh, bit ironic that uh, Pele is doing the Cruyff turn to, uh, to <laughs> Cruyff over there. But uh, sometimes that's just how the world works. Uh, and uh, now, taking his time, 80 minutes, he can just run that clock down. Or will he look to finish this off with a bang? Saranch is going to be desperate to win that ball back. But he has conceded a corner now. Yeah, exactly. And at this point, like you said, it is um, it is showing up as most likely a victory for SCS Bengal, especially with Saranj not really able to really disturb the keeper of SCS Bengal so far. Now with this opportunity, we'll have to see if Shantan can just make it GGWP for Saranj. He's just controlling the ball so so well Azim he's able to continuously spot out the right runs the right opportunities but a bit of a caster curse there maybe no it is not oh actually a cheap giveaway and the counter is available Messi down the wing running down but Saranj taking his time I think he wants that 90th minute chance yeah well he needs to make it count now let's see how many bodies there's four players in the box waiting over there there's four players behind the ball as well and uh, he's going to need to do something different this time. Gets the ball into Mbappe. Oh. Bulldozing his way through. Can he get the shot off? No, he cannot. And I think that is job done for Shantan there. He's going to waste as much time as he legally can with that goalkeeper. Kicks it all the way long. I think Saranj will win this header and uh, get another chance. Yes, there we go. It is Bellingham and Hullet now. Let's see if he can find something. Has the ball 
available to play through to Messi again not not going for those uh, those passes he's just sort of spinning around this time finds Ronaldo needs to take that shot again goes for the trick over there and really i think the quest for those just those high percentage shots has been the downfall for both uh, Saranj and Naveen i think sometimes you just got to take those shots and not wait to be literally face to face with the keeper before shooting and there you go 2-1 nils and that means it is 3 points in the bag for sc east bengal a top 4 place confirmed also for sc east bengal so they'll be very very pleased with that and uh, well it does make uh, chennai fc's life that little bit more complicated particularly seeing as they do have to play a couple of these uh, top 4 contenders in their upcoming games and these are the kind of losses that are so frustrating azim because you're always going to go back think well i could have done that i should have done that if i would have done that maybe i would have got the win too many ifs and buts is my point and i think uh, rather than going for those uh, standard opportunities like you said saranj and navin kept hunting for those high percentage plays high percentage shots but that ended up meaning they barely got any off so that's the question uh, do you really want to keep hunting for high percentage shots if the loss is that you get a low percentage of opportunities overall i'm not so sure yeah i mean uh, you know even if the shots taken the keeper saves it you get a corner you get yeah. something different uh, you get a different angle uh, to uh, to uh, you know do something but it's just not uh, happened for them at all and uh, you know it's uh, it's one of those days where it just doesn't go your way we see over here as well just so simple uh, shayanthan not thinking about just taking that shot from the edge of the area he didn't uh, do that additional trick or skill move to try and beat a defender he just took the shot and we're talking about all of these guys who have the team of the year cards these guys have crazy maxed out shooting stats they've got all the the chemistry modifiers applied and it's so easy for them to just uh, well take that shot but maybe i think the purism of uh, sir even over here like i would have like you see, see the keeper coming off his line i would have gone for that finesse yeah. shot because the keeper's off his line you can easily just chip that into the in the top, top corner but hey again then again i am not a pro uh, <laughs> fifa player and i don't play in the eisl so obviously these guys have their reasons but uh, just from a uh, pure outside perspective uh, you do feel that uh, the shots would have been better again just the one shot taken from saranj and uh, with an xg of 0.2 it was never likely to to happen and we most definitely have to think that way right because we are wondering what would have happened with all of those uh plays that saranj did have an opportunity to take a shot with for example i remember towards the end that gullet opportunity where he was running down there was no one to stop him a simple time shot would have at the very least challenged the keeper maybe even set up a rebound for his team but there was never a moment where it felt like saranj uh, really believed that it could go in you know and that's what i wonder if the issue was today a lack of confidence a lack of belief maybe because when you think back to the glory days of ankit gupta he took random opportunity is out of nowhere and got them in simply because he was like well i feel like it so why not yeah and he, i mean even if you look at his first game as well the the reason and the where he got the goal from is was that willingness to take that uh, lower percentage shot on uh, and uh, you know just uh, just get the job done but of course uh, just for all of you guys who are interested in the uh, in the new uh, metaverse ecosystem of course uh, you should know that terra virtua is an entertainment based uh, metaverse platform you can get your favorite NFT team posters, team player trading trading cards, all on TerraVirtua.io, and of course your free NFT just by signing up. So check it all out. a chance to get all of those favorite hero isl moments for yourself and to really feel connected i think that's a chance nobody will want to miss but talking about now missing uh, not a lot of chances taken by chennai fc right there and they completely missed an opportunity to challenge scs bengal for that first spot right now so i think scs bengal not only like you said have they confirmed their top four slot but at this point more or less confirmed their number one slot too because it doesn't look like any team is able to really push that hard and challenge them and that number one curse that we've seen throughout the isl it feels like they've gone past that at that point 
Yeah, absolutely. And uh, they they managed to get the job done. And of course, we can have a look at what happened in the in the co-op game the last time uh, these two teams met. It was, of course, the game that uh, decided uh, the result and ended up being the points being shared. You can see that these were the instinctive plays, right? Those little lobs and uh, smashing it past the keeper. And there you go. I think that was uh, not quite sure whether it was Ankit or Shayantan who scored that. Seemed like an Ankit Gupta kind of play uh, to just do those those audacious things. And over here as well, you can see just how open the defences were at this time. And early on in the tournament, I think with everyone just uh, sort of trying to show what they're made of. Uh, and of course, uh, feeling out for uh, how their opponents are playing. Uh, it was completely a different vibe uh, at that time. We saw a lot of uh, goals being scored. But as we get into these crunch phases, particularly when the top teams meet, I think they are going to be KG matches. We might get the occasional... 3-4 thrillers uh, if uh, the players really, really decide to go for it. And I really do feel in these matches, early goals are what define what happens. If one of the players concedes early, I think that really opens up the entire game. And uh, in, in both cases, we saw where that uh, Ankit as well scored just at the end of that first half uh, and uh, Shantan managed to get the goal early in the second half. So it was just about then seeing out that one half and uh, just uh, getting that result, which they do have. All three points and, uh, well, fist bump, high five. <laughs> Those are the days where the fist bumps and high fives also weren't in complete uh, unison. But uh, there we have it. It was 3-2 in the end uh, with the penalty. Yeah, and uh, I'm actually curious to see more of these penalties. You can see the mind games being played where in that moment, Shanayin decided to not move the cursor and not really play like play the double mind game essentially the double fake where they're like they think i'm going to move so i'm not going to move and inherently the keeper is like okay i'm not going to move it and it yeah. really is cool to see those things happen but to even see those penalties we're gonna have to see both of these teams let loose a little bit and talking about that i think we can expect that from SCS bengal now that they secured the victory in these in this series they're sure to let loose a little bit just sort of play their game to a large extent and i think that will help them get some of the confidence back that they might have lost in a couple of draws that they had so far get some of that instinct back that they really ruled the eisl with in the starting and mid phases of the tournament yeah, and uh, well, I mean, they, they didn't seem to be that perturbed yesterday. I think uh, it was quite close between uh, them and Bengaluru FC. And again, it was another very, very high stakes game. Uh, but Bengaluru FC did, uh, I mean, did not manage to get the result that time. And uh, Chennai and FC, I think now will be glad that they managed to get the win against Bengaluru yesterday. Because uh, if they had lost two games back to back, uh, even that top four berth could have been potentially trouble for them, considering the fact that. I do believe they still have to play Mumbai City FC and uh, one out of FC Goa and North East United FC. So it is going to be, uh, it's not a foregone conclusion yet for Chennai and FC. We would expect them, uh, given their, their calibre, to make it through to their top four. But, uh, well, if FC Goa and North East United FC have something to say about it, it could all change. Almost definitely. And for Chennai and FC, now this matchup just becomes a case of trying to find a silver lining from this series trying to find uh, some way to be like okay you know what whatever happened in the individual matchups was just from our side uh, off day where we just had a little bit of hesitation we were not necessarily as ruthless as we wanted to be so if they can find a win here in the co-op it's going to help them out bring back that ruthless spirit in their next matchup and I think that's going to be crucial to their top four battle or even the top two battle if they plan to be in there for the better seeding in itself. But hey. Well, yeah, in the meanwhile, uh, while we're getting ready for this match, you guys can uh, hone your FIFA skills by getting some lessons from the maestro himself. Ankit Gupta has put together his uh, FIFA finesse series and uh, you can uh, check it out right now. Hello everyone, this is Ankit Gupta here, playing for SCH Bengal Red and Goals. Today I am going to share FIFA tips which you will implement and your game will improve. In today's video, we will talk about passing. There are many ways of passes. I will tell you which pass you can use in which situation and which pass you can use. And you can improve your game. The first point is basic passing. Let's start. Look, you can pass in which direction and you can move in which direction. अगर कोई आप पे चार्ज कर रहा था आप क्विक पासिस करके पोजीशन रख के आप बॉल मूव रोटेट कर सकते हो जैसे वो डिफेंडर चार्ज कर रहा है मैं फटफट रोटेट करके बॉल पास किए जा रहा हूँ 
जैसा कोई डिफेंडर आ रहा है नजदीक तो मेरे को लॉफ पास करना तो मैं इसे उठा के लॉफ पास दे सकता हूँ यहाँ पे भी चेंज करने के लॉफ पास बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट चीज़ है पीछे भी डाल सकता हूँ आगे भी डाल सकता हूँ लॉफ पास स्क्वायर बटन करके है जिससे मैं लॉफ पास डाल सकता हूँ देखो मैंने स्विच कर दिया अभी मैं आगे के साइड जाऊँगा यहाँ गया मैं मेरे को गोल मारने का चांस मिला जैसे मैं देखा लॉफ किया और मैं यहाँ पर स्कोर कर दिया बेसिक पासिंग और थ्रू पासिंग में डिफरेंस है बेसिक पासिंग मतलब आपने एक्स दबाया तो डिफेंडर के प्लेयर के पैर में आ जाता है अगर आपने थ्रू पास दबाया तो प्लेयर भागता है बॉल के लिए अगर आपने वापस बेसिक पास किया तो आप नॉर्मली एक्स उसके पास जाता है लेकिन थ्रू पास डालना तो आप प्लेयर के रन को देखना है थ्रू पास किए प्लेयर भाग रहे हैं और आप स्कोर कर सकते हो ईजिली नॉर्मल पासिस करके मैं अपना बिल्डअप करके प्ले करके स्विच कर रहा हूँ थ्रू पास मतलब ग्राउंड पास से बॉल डालना है और आप मैंने एलवान से ट्रिगर किया मैं देखा रोनाल्डो भाग रहा है मैंने ऊपर से बॉल डाल दिया एलवान ट्राइंगल करके जैसे बॉल मिला मेरे को मेरा एक प्लेयर खाली है स्क्वायर दबाया मैंने सर्कल से फिनिश चलो मैं आपको एक बार फिर से एक्सप्लेन करता हूँ कि ये सिचुएशन में हुआ क्या मैंने बिल्डअप करने के लिए नॉर्मल एक्स पासिस किए देख रहा था जहाँ पर प्लेयर खाली है वहाँ पर एक्स पास किया यहाँ पर मैंने थ्रू पास किया जो ट्राइंगल बटन है फिर मैं देखा रोनाल्डो भाग रहा है तो मैंने एलवान ट्राइंगल दबाया रोनाल्डो फ्री हो गया रोनाल्डो जैसे क्या देखा बॉक्स में एक और प्लेयर खाली है तो मैंने स्क्वायर दबाया और सर्कल से फिनिश कर दिया थ्रू पास थ्रू लॉफ्टेड पास तभी यूज होता है जब आपको देख रहे हैं आप डिफेंडर के लाइन पे अगर आपका प्लेयर रन बना रहा है तो अगर आपको उसको ऊपर से बॉल डालना है और उसको चाहिए कि 100% परसेंट वही बॉल विन करे तो एलवन ट्राइंगल करके बटन है कंट्रोलर पे उससे लॉफ्टेड थ्रू पास जाता है तो आप उसके थ्रू करके प्लेयर को वो बॉल डाल सकते हो ये थी पासिंग की चार टॉपिक बेसिक पासिंग थ्रू पासिस लॉफ्टेड पास लॉफ्टेड थ्रू पास ये चीज़ आप गेम में इंप्लीमेंट करोगे तो आपका गेम इंप्रूव होते हुए दिखेगा और ये काफ़ी इंपॉर्टेंट चीज़ है डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सिचुएशन में ये चारों टॉपिक आप कवर कर सकते हो बहुत हो गई सीरियस बात है अभी मैं आपको दिखाऊंगा मेरा फेवरेट स्किल मूव जो मुझे फीफा में करना काफ़ी पसंद है चलिए देखते हैं ये स्किल मूव का नाम बोला सिर्फ लिख है ये फीफा में फाइव स्टार स्किल मूव है इसे पुल ऑफ करना डिफिकल्ट है बट मैं आपको बता दो कैसे करते हैं एल टू होल्ड करके राइट एंड लॉक स्टिक को राइट लेफ्ट करके फ्लिक करना है और आप इजीली चांस क्रिएट कर सकते हो गोल मारने के लिए फीफा वर्ल्ड में बॉल पोजीशन की काफ़ी वैल्यू है आप देख सकते हैं प्रो प्लेस बॉल रख के काफ़ी अच्छा बिल्डअप करते हैं तो आप ये एमेचोर प्लेयर इससे सीख सकते हैं जितना बॉल रखोगे जो जो इंपॉर्टेंट इंस्ट्रक्शन मैंने बताया है आप वो यूटिलाइज करके गेम में इंप्लीमेंट करोगे तो आपका गेम इंप्रूव होगा गाइज इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो लाइक एंड कमेंट बट डोंट फर्गेट टू वॉच दी ऑफिशियल ई आई एस एल मैचेज ऑन नॉर्डविन गेमिंग फेसबुक एंड यूट्यूब चैनल Well, ladies and gentlemen, and I think, like we heard from Ankit, a lot of um, interesting strategies. You know, especially the flick that he was talking about at the end, the Balassi flick. That's something I might try for myself. But I want to see some of those in action here in the co-op team. I want to see some yeah. sort of special moves. I want to see the classic Ankit making us go bra. How? How? That that kind yeah. of reaction is what I want to see in this match. Yeah, well, it looks like the Chennai and FC boys have been watching exclusively Ankit's uh, video because all they were doing in their first two games was just passing the ball <laughs> and taking <laughs> no shots whatsoever, and that's led them to this uh, situation right here as we head into game three. A bit of a dead rubber, but of course there is a uh, well, there are the stakes for the MVP over here, so both uh, Saranch and Naveen are part of it, and of course there's the internal competition between Ankit and uh, and Chantan as well. Uh, as to who will get that MVP uh, prize and of course get their well four lakh prize money and the personalized NFT. But this time Chennai and FC, as we've seen in both games, starting pretty aggressively and now deciding to take a completely absurd shot uh, from out of nowhere. Maybe they're listening to the comms as well and uh, realizing that they need to take a few more shots. But uh, again, I think more of the same here, trying to get into that box. And I think I expect this to be a bit more of an open game. Yeah, most definitely, <laughs> especially with the pressure off with the players, and both of these teams with not much on the line through this matchup. I think it's just that momentum factor that they're going to bring into the table. So much more of an open game is what we want inherently as well. But we'll have to see, and we'll have to hope that uh, from the video they did not just learn key square ball. Because one button होता है क्योंकि circle ball के भी एक button होता है shoot करने के लिए Chennai and FC. So maybe they can get some chances and get some shots on the board. But Again, it is oh, barely. I see is Bengal keeping the ball in the line, and what is that? The ball. I thought it went out for a second, but both of these teams just playing with that line on the very edge. Yeah, absolutely on the edge over there. 
and now getting forward uh, with uh, with Mbappe looking for a run. Uh, I think we will see a few more openings for Chennai and FC over here just purely because they can, uh, well, they they have two additional players to uh, make those runs with. Uh, but uh, giving that ball away very cheaply in midfield, Mbappe holding on to it. This could be a good chance if he can find that pass, deciding to go in alone and taking that finish shot. Saved by Donnarumma, but of course, we finally do have a shot on target. And I think that's more of what I would like to see from Chennai and FC. Uh, you know, just getting into those good positions. Just buy a ticket, you might just win the lottery. You never know. And uh, we've seen that uh, work out uh, quite often, in, particularly in the last uh, two or three games uh, that that we've uh, been casting on. That uh, those uh, finesse shots we've seen, uh, Akash Ash take them, we've seen uh, Afnan take them, we've seen them a lot of them from Bindra Page as well. And uh, they've all seemed uh, to, to just fly into the top corner. Most definitely. Once again, though. Chennai NFC with the ball, trying to make something happen, but an ambitious pass there, giving away the ball to SES Bengal, where they have now a through ball set up, uh, clearly offside there, R9, will make sure that we restart the play with Chennai NFC once again, and I will say, while that ambitious pass from Chennai NFC did give the ball away, I'm glad that they're not just looking for the high percentage plays anymore. Yeah, it's good to see them uh, mixing it up a little bit, I think this is also good practice for potential future co-op matches that they may end up playing uh, against uh, SCS Bengal when they, or if they do eventually meet in the playoffs. So, good uh, good practice for them. Uh, they can have fun with it. I think give uh, the, the, the viewers a little bit more excitement as well because, uh, well, let's be honest, uh, there's not been a lot of goal mouth action in those opening first two games. This time Mbappe is he on side again, going in and turning away. It's almost like they're like goal. Goal is that no, no. I must go opposite direction. I I do not like goal. It's almost like there's a magnet that is uh, repelling uh, the Chennai and FC players away from uh, that, that goal. But this time, big opportunity. CR7 on the ball. Lovely ball roll. Uh, but again, just making the wrong decision in the final third. Yeah, in the final third is where we've seen Chennai and FC struggling throughout. Unfortunately, the struggle seems to continue right here, but okay. And Joao Cancelo there with a very aggressive sweep coming through. Could have meant someone's legs broken or a card taken, but probably Ankit because he's the one who loves going for that. He timed it well, instead pushes that for a corner. Once again though, it is Chennai NFC now controlling the ball, looking for a shot. Ronaldo to Ronaldo in the box, but a skill to many will mean that it's given back away. Yeah, and uh, just while this game is going on, I've been looking through uh, my notes to see uh, Chennai and FC's remaining couple of matches. It's uh, not going to be plain sailing because they do have to play Odisha FC as well, who of course uh, managed to get uh, points off uh, SC's Bengal and they uh, pushed uh, FC Goa all the way as well. Uh, but uh, we also see the final game for Chennai and FC is going to be a very big crunch game potentially against Northeast United FC. This time getting into the ball, the mistake and uh, all sorts of mayhem in the box. Players falling over each other and again, still, I don't remember uh, the SC East Bengal goalkeeper having to make a save of uh, of any kind across, in fact, even these uh, all three matches. But this time, might have some work to do. Again, trying to turn away, gets the fortune and this time, finally, it flies in. A little bit of fortune over there, but uh, Chennai and will be happy to finally at least get their names on that score sheet. And at this point, I think for Chennai and we have to remember, right? They've lost the series, but momentum is such an important factor because even in though they've lost the series for them, it's all about that top four battle. It's all about getting into that right groove, letting into that right place. And Getting this goal will definitely, after this series, remind them that, hey, you know what, individually we might have dropped the ball, but we are able to make it happen, so we just got to focus on match to match. But talking about focus, right now, with this goal, they got to try and get the win because we know how important those first two goals, uh, first goals are, but at the same time, we also know how good SCS Bengal is at coming back. Yeah, well, we'll be hoping that it's not just uh, three 1-0 uh, games in this entire match. Hopefully, some more games. Maybe that second half completely explodes and it ends up being 5-4. Let's uh, let's hope for that. But, uh, well, we, we I don't think it's going to be the kind of game where we'll see a few, uh, well, fun substitutions or gag substitutions. We did yes, see Bindratej yesterday bring on one of his uh, favourite Arsenal players, an Arsenal fan. He is, of course, bringing on Emil Smith-Rowe 
towards the end of their co-op game and of course are managing to uh, uh, well almost get the win as well so uh, they uh, they had a pretty good uh, outing yesterday last two games won by ATK MB of course they will be in action against northeast united fc in our next game of the day and that's going to be a very very big game i did mention right at the top of the season that uh, ATK MB are going to be playing a massive role in who actually makes it to that top four because they have to play uh, FC Goa, they have to play uh, Mumbai City FC uh, they, and they have to play uh, Northeast United FC as well. So they could uh, have a massive impact on uh, on how things play out. Yeah, exactly. Haiti KMV with uh, little to no pressure now in this final stages because, of course, they out of an opportunity can really be the sports sports, you know. I wonder if there's teams uh, going out there being like, hey, Haiti KMV, you know, we really like you, right? Don't, don't, <laughs> don't end up uh, pulling out a piece of a performance against us. And I'm sure for Haiti KMV, it's just down to the fact that they want to enjoy themselves now. They want to enjoy the rest of this tournament. But enough about those teams. We're starting off this second half with Chennai NFC and SCS Bengal once again in this co-op game. It is Chennai NFC with the lead and maybe even two right here because they have a Ooh. huge opportunity. And I wonder where were shots like these in the individual games? Yes, exactly. Uh, that's exactly what, is, uh, what I was about to say. Why were they not taking shots uh, just like these in their previous match? But now on the counter-attack come SCS Bengal looking to get not a lot of height to attack across with. Usually on these counter-attacks we've seen them uh, use CR7 and uh, really, really uh, devastate teams. Of course, making very good use of the offside rule of there. You cannot be offside from a throw in. And there, very, very intelligent play from SCS Bengal over there. Chennai and FC caught sleeping on defense, thinking, oh, he's offside. I don't need to mark him. Yeah. And brilliantly worked. And we have finally two goals in this game. Very, very uh, good goal. Very, very smart, sneaky goal, you could say, by uh, SCS Bengal and uh, the scores are leveled up again. Yeah, exactly. And at this point, I think what is crucial is the fact that with 1-1 on the scoreline, both of these teams are going to hunt for the goal, open up a little bit and therefore give us a little bit more action because of their open defences. Now, Pele on the left trying to create that space, he gets denied and yeah, yeah, it just comes down to that simple factor where both of these teams are now just Looking for that random move, that random pass, that random bit oh. of aggression. It might be right here for Chennai. Yeah, it might just be a random deflection that works out for them. Not quite aware. It was a small deflection that got them their first goal as well. So, they are relying on a little bit of uh, good fortune to get their uh, opportunities. But uh, now, with Hakimi trying to just reset their attack a little bit, get uh, into the right positions. And now, again, you can see the, those passing lanes being cut out so, so, so well. Uh, by uh, by the SCS Bengal boys, not allowing them to fire those uh, those passes into the strikers at all, and uh, well did well to stop the counter attack over there as we reach the 60 minute mark now in this game. Um, still, uh, no great pointers either way as to who's going to get this win. I think it will come down to one slip, one mistake, or one individual bit of skill. Are we going to see that Bolasi flick? from Ankit Gupta coming in. He went there, going for that uh, finesse shot straight away. That will be a foul, uh, but uh, advantage played since the ball is still with Chennai FC. Now, Chennai FC, despite having that lead early on, I mean, they, they haven't really looked dominant in this game. It, it's not really felt like they've really uh, had SC's Bengal against the wall uh, at any point, really, through these uh, first three games. I think both uh, Ankit and Shantan have looked very comfortable uh, in defence, even in the co-op game. Uh, and a lovely bit of skill over there. Will he be going for that shot? You see over there, he queued up that finish, given the ball back again and again. And uh, Chennai and FC making uh, life difficult for themselves by constantly giving that ball back. And now it's Mbappe on that left flank, runs straight past Hakimi like he's not there. And uh, Bellingham there to uh, pick up all the pieces for uh, Chennai and FC. As uh, they go forward, I'm sure they're going to not want uh, a whitewash. They want at least yeah. that draw just for the sake of their pride and hopefully a win if they can manage it. But uh, just to remind all of our viewers, of course, at this point in the game, the uh, the points have already been distributed. SC is Bengal have Ooh. all three a great bit of skill over there trying to get that ball in. But I think the angle too acute and SC is Bengal come back on the counter. The angle a little too acute and at this point uh, certainly it did feel like for both 
for the side of Chennai and FC, they are much, much more open though. Because again, that sort of cross, not something we saw in the individual game. That sort of play, not something we saw in the individuals. And this time you can see, uh, in this co-op game, they're just like, yeah, why not? And with that why not mentality, they get the ball into the box. Ronaldo from Ronaldo trying to cut it back, but keenly intercepted by N'Golo Kante. And I love this play from Chennai and FC. And they've got the ball back once again. The quick Hakimi with the interception. Now what can they create? Oh, Ooh. Trying to chip that in uh, in behind. And there you go again. Just uh, Chennai and FC just putting in that cross into the box. And again, created all sorts of chaos into that SC's Bengal bench. And, uh, you know, that's sometimes that's what you want to do. Even if you're not creating a chance, you want to create chaos. Just like the goalkeeper has done over there for Chennai and FC. Handing the ball straight to uh, Mbappe of SC's Bengal, but eventually no harm done. But, uh, you know, sometimes it's just about that. Like, if your opposition is just feeling a little bit too comfortable, even if you do something that just throws a little bit of a spanner into their work, suddenly just makes them panic for like a minute or so, that can just throw their concentration off and make them make that mistake. And uh, it's something that we haven't seen enough of from Chennai NFC today. So, I ended up saying, no, no, we are not bringing on any. Please keep John Joe Shelby on the bench. None <laughs> of that is happening. And uh, they just want to see it out. I think he's happy to uh, to take that uh, draw, of course. Uh, maybe might take... Uh, I think the competition between the two, I'm sure, will be there as well as to who's going to score more goals. So, uh, let's see if they decide to try and score one more. Yeah, absolutely. And I think what is going to be especially even more interesting is if that one goal is some sort of highlight goal. Because uh, like you said, I'm sure our highlight team is clutching at straws right now. We've got four goals across three matches and none of the goals, uh, I'd say, are different in such in the way we expect to say from someone like Ankit or SC's Bengal in general or even from Naveen in the early starts of this match where he would score these insane moves where it would be so damn quick. But... A couple of key substitutions. We've seen the quick Brazilian bot on, Vinicius Jr. Maybe he can bring the pace oh, and up yes. it up. Just pulling that save out over there. And that's what we want to see. Very instinctive play, creating that shooting opportunity. And again, even though the keeper saved it, you still have a corner. You still have an opportunity to do something with it. And uh, we have seen a lot of players now actually start... Uh, just based on the amount uh, they've played against uh, each other and watched uh, these guys playing, they've started doing those manual keeper movements as well, just based on uh, where where players tend to put that ball. So, generally, they, they would have figured out, okay, you know, Saranj tends to go to the far post, so I'm just going to automatically move my keeper to the far post. Sometimes it looks very comical if they do it very early. It's just the keeper moving completely across goal and leaving it absolutely open. And as a viewer, you might wondering, wonder what's happening, but... Uh, it was probably going to be a goal anyway and that's when they just decide to uh, just roll the dice and see if uh, something might happen. Free kick over there for SC's Bengal as 85 minutes on the clock. Is anybody going to give us another goal? Is anybody going to give our production team some work to do? <laughs> that's the question right here with just a few minutes left on the clock. Eh? Seems unlikely, but unlikely is what these players usually specialize in. So I hope they pull something out of the bag. And look at this, doing exactly that. As he has been called, moving across the wings. A ball set up for, I think there was Hakimi in the box, if I'm not mistaken. No, it was Ronaldo in the box. Yeah, it was Ronaldo in the box over there. And now, well, I think he could have gone uh, long for that, uh, that run on the right flank. Decided to go to the fullback as well. Maybe not uh, intentional. Maybe he was looking for that run. But uh, I guess we'll never know. Now with Messi at the edge of the area. Will we see that long shot? No, we don't. De Bruyne as well. We've seen a lot of crazy De Bruyne strikes fly into that corner. Still, nothing. Uh, and again, we see that ball just going in. And uh, that is the final whistle. It's going to end one all. So it's not a clean sweep for SC's Bengal. Chennai and FC getting a little bit of uh, pride out of that uh, that co-op uh, draw that they've managed to, uh, to hold on to. But... On the day, I think SC is Bengal uh, in a very close and an away match, managing to create the chances when they mattered and take the chances, take the shots when it mattered and eventually getting those three points. Could say this game in many ways was a dress rehearsal for uh, what we're going to see in the, in the playoffs, in the finals. And we'll be hoping that there's a little bit more goals and entertainment when, uh, if and when these teams meet later on in the tournament. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And at this point, I think uh, for all of these teams, it's going to be interesting 
uh, watching them, how they prepare for the playoffs and finals because we've seen clear cut play styles from them at the start of the EISL. We've seen them get KG towards the end of the EISL and we need to see them now trying to find a balance where they maintain their clear cut play styles but are still able to adapt to their opponent's tendencies when required. But uh, I think what is especially crucial, even more than that, is the right momentum, the right mood in your team going into the matchup. And I think for SCE's Bengal, the renewed vigor with which they're going to be approaching their matches after these win is going to be key. Yep, definitely going to keep that momentum going, of course, after a little bit of a slump for uh, SCE's Bengal, managing to get back two winning ways over here. Despite not being the most convincing performance in the world, I think the days of the the Ankit Gupta 6 nils are <laughs> kind of over. And if you look at the stats, I think Chennai and FC just about uh, dominating over there and uh, managing uh, 1.9 XG but just the one goal. They could potentially have managed to win that game. But uh, actually, equal shots taken by both teams. So, at least there was a little bit of goal mouth action uh, for everyone to enjoy today. Yeah, a little bit. I would say more fluid from both of the teams overall. Uh, but definitely, as you mentioned, it wasn't the greatest of days form wise from the side of SCE's Bengal. Yeah, and having a look at that final scorecard, it is, of course, two 1 0 wins that uh, got the three points in the bag for SCE's Bengal. And then that uh, hard fought 1 0 draw. We did think that maybe Chennai and FC might be uh, steering uh, that uh, that one uh, pride result, but it was not to be. Let's find out now who is the hero of the match. A difficult decision, not a lot of goals scored, but it is Ankit Gupta again, the hero of the match, scoring two goals. Uh, well, the only player to score more than one goal, so I think uh, he's uh, he's deserved it. Managed to get the one goal, which was uh, just. Uh, Slightly fortunate, uh, we can say, uh, with uh, that uh, deflection falling very kindly to Eusebio, find himself in an onside position and just tapping it into an empty net. And uh, the co op goal, I think, uh, was worked very well. This is a very smart, very cheeky goal. And of course, the skill move over there to just get away from the defender, smash it into the corner. Doesn't need to be the, the most favorable angle in the world. But let's find out now which is the Terra Virtua super moment of the match. Probably, yeah, there we go. Uh, it is going to be the goal from Shantar himself, just beautifully calculated. Uh, me personally, again, being an Arsenal fan, not the team we see nowadays, but the team I used to see back in the day. Uh, this goal reminds me of them, just calculated passes all the way through, making the opposition desperate to a certain extent, and then finding that crucial ball, the way you mentioned, with that fork with Ronaldo 7 and Ronaldo 9 in great positions to pick it up. He chooses the number 7 and he is able to slam it in. Yep. And uh, of course, getting uh, him, well, getting in there, of course, with the V flecked, celebrating and dancing and enjoying uh, the uh, well, the performances from SC's Bengal. I think uh, they've been putting on a great show all through this tournament. And that, of course, is reflected in the leaderboard right now. Let's have a look over there. SC's Bengal, I think, definitely now uh, have qualified. Uh, well, I'm not sure if the leaderboard reflects the, the final points. Yeah. Because I think they should be on 39 points. But uh, no change to Chennai and FC over there. Mumbai City FC, FC Goa, Northeast United FC, uh, Bengaluru FC, all of them still in that discussion. And it's just so close. I mean, I can't pick which out of those four teams is going to make it right now. Yeah, exactly. And it's so, so intense the way it seems to have set itself up. Uh, I think we're about just ready to have a chat with one of the players. So let's head on right over there. I do believe we have uh, Shantan with us. Shantan, a core win. Congratulations. And abhi, I think iske baad confirm ho chuka hai that uh, top four confirmed. Hai. So, how are you feeling? Yeah, it was very good because mathematically we have come to top four. Mein hai. So, it was very good. Or I mean, आपके लिए throughout this tournament एक journey रही है, you know शुरुआत से ही आप लोग dominate करते आए हो, but अब that you are reach that top four, ये journey का अंत कहाँ नजर आ रहा है? Direct FGS का spot for I'm Veno Seven or no? नहीं, पहले तो ISL ISL का trophy के बारे में सोच रहा हूँ, उसके बाद मैं और अंकित में जो भी अच्छा खेलेगा, उसको FGS का spot मिलेगा. Well, brilliant. You've got a very good performance. It was a tough match today, but you guys managed to 
get the get the results so congratulations on your win and of course uh, i'm sure aapko bahut sare uh, messages or dms aa rahe honge uh, to the scs bing from the scs bengal fans so fans ke liye agar koi message ho to we would love to hear it yeah we are trying our best hum har match mein jeetne ki koshish kar rahe hain to hope so ki hum log esl ke trophy bhi jeet jayenge this is brilliant thanks so much and then all the best uh, we'll we'll chat with you soon. thank you thank you guys I mean, we've talked about this a lot, but as a fan himself, I'm sure he wants that SCS Bengal name lifting up the EISL trophy. So I'm excited to see that. But hey, like we talked about, this is the updated leaderboard, the 39 points as you mentioned for SCS Bengal. Chennai, unfortunately, still languishing with 34 points, and uh, an opportunity now for Mumbai City FC if they're able to get even two wins out of their three games in hand, they could take away that spot. And similarly for FC Goa to really pile the pressure. On to Chennai and FC and put them in that last position where they are concerned about this part. Yeah, absolutely, it's going to be complete entertainment. But uh, for you guys, if you need entertainment in your metaverse world, of course, Terra Virtual is an entertainment-based metaverse platform. You can get your favorite NFT team posters, team player trading cards. everything you want uh, related to the hero isl uh, as well on terravirtual.io and uh, also get yourself a free nft check it out an opportunity to have your favorite hero isl moments intrinsically connected to you that's something you never want to miss but a big thank you to our partners who made this happen of course the eisl powered by coca cola with hero as our associate sponsor nordwin gaming as our esports partner playstation as our platform partner and terra virtual as our digital collectibles partner now don't you go anywhere because we've got a long day still ahead of us two more sets to go and we'll be back after a short break on another stream